Hello everyone, my name is Kirill, you're on the Auto Advisor channel. Today we will consider as many as 5 critical mistakes that shouldn't be made when changing and topping up engine oil. So, mistake number 1. This is an oil change exactly according to the Marvin of Factor's recommendation. The fact is that if you open the instruction manual, then for most cars the oil change interval is 10 or 20 thousand kilometers. It would seem that it is easier to just take and change the oil according to the manufacturer's recommendations. But the fact is that these recommendations are created taking into account the fact that the car is operating in normal average conditions. However, in practice, it is necessary to take into account the mode of operation of the car, with what loads it works, then the climate is taken into account also. It is necessary to take into account the harsh climate conditions, where there are very large temperature difference and use only high quality oil. All this together must be taken into account and understood that the replacement shouldn't be done just in time, which is written in the instruction manual. Usually this period is divided into two. That is, if the instruction says replacement at 20,000 km, it is recommended from practice to make a replacement at 10,000 km. If the instructions say that replacement at 10,000 divided by 2 and get 5,000 km, nonetheless, from the experience of many thousands and maybe millions of motor lovers, this item is very important and extends the life of your engine. Point number two is oil overflow. The fact is that when changing the oil, many motorists make such an oversight and pour the oil. That is, add more oil than necessary. Many cars have an oil dipstick which marks on it, minimum and maximum level. When the oil level rises, it begins to fall on the mechanism and notice, which it seems though shouldn't fall on. For example, car candles can be oiled in this case, engine acceleration is lost and fuel consumption increases, increased multiformation in the air engine cylinders. The consumption of this oil increases, oil can enter the consumption chamber, the work of hydraulic lifters is deteriorating and so on. But in general, this is not a very good phenomenon, but still if you change the oil yourself and put it, then there is such a special serum with which you can pump out the excess of this oil. Usually an oil dipstick is taken out and a tube is inserted into this hole and the excess is pumped out with the help of this serum. If you didn't have this special serum at hand, then can you just go to the pharmacy and buy a regular medical serum and a dropper kit, in my opinion. So, there is a transparted tube, this transparted tube is inserted into the hole for the dipstick, we connect to the serum and slowly pump out the oil to the desired level. Go ahead, mistake number 3 is underfilling the oil. This is the worst mistake on my list and if you didn't add oil to the right level, then in the fact the engine runs dry, well, particularly dry, that is, all moving parts don't receive proper lubrication and they walk for wear. In such cases, in addition to the very strong wear, the parts run dry, they simply heat up and can generally overheat the engine. Modern cars are equipped with a special sensor that indicates problems with the oil level. Usually, this sensor shows either oil pressure or immediately the oil level. Such a red oil level may appear on the dashboard. If this still happens, then you must immediately turn off the engine and establish the reason for which all this happened. Mistake number 4 is constantly adding oil instead of changing it. There are situations when a car has an increased oil consumption from the assembly line. Well, this is a feature of the engine. In this case, the oil is often added, and it also happens when the car already has a long millage, a lot of wear and tear, and the engine simply eats oil out of old age. The problem is that some car owners believe that you can just constantly top up the oil and not change it at all. But as you can see, this opinion is wrong. When new oil is constantly added, it simply mixed with the old one and immediately becomes dirty and loses its properties. Besides, don't forget that with constant oil topping up, the same oil filter that is responsible for cleaning the oil and keeping it, so to speak, in clean state never changes. All these points I mean with constant topping up of oil lead to the slow demise of the engine. Mistake number 5 is mixing the immiscible. The fact is that when adding oil, in no case shouldn't its quality be reduced. In other words, it is allowed to add semi-synthetic to mineral oil, synthetics are added to semi-synthetics and in no case vice versa. 
It is strictly forbidden to mix different products, also diesel engine oil and gasoline engine oil. Well, in general, mixing different standards by which these oils are produced can lead to various chemical structure in the engine. Do you need it? If you need to buy oil, an oil filter, an air filter or any accessories, visit our website. There is a huge selection of spare parts for any guys and, by the way, there is delivery. In general, this is all what I wanted to say about the topic of replacing and topping up oil. Remember that if your instruction manual says replacement at 20,000, replace it at 10,000. This will prolong the life of your engine. Necessary put likes and subscribe to our channel. All the best to you and see you soon!